Now, it is Valentine's Day next week, and even though it's all a little bit commercial, it's still really nice to give a treat to someone you love and make them feel really special, and I have got just the thing. I'm gonna show you how to make Love Heart sandwich cookies. Now, these are Love Hearts. They're really well known in Britain, so hopefully you've heard of them from wherever you are, um, but they're basically little sherbetty candies, and they've each got a really cute little message printed onto them. So my sandwiches are going to be cookified versions of these sweets, and they're going to be really nice lemony, sherbetty flavour, and I'm going to put um, little messages so that you can tell your loved one what's in your heart. It all starts with the cookie, and this is a simple sugar cookie recipe, but because these are sherbetty candies, I'm going to put lemon zest in it to kind of jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to start with some caster sugar and some soft unsalted butter, and all the quantities for this recipe are in the description box below. And I'm also going to put some lemon zest in. I'm going to zest one lemon directly into the bowl. And that just needs to be beat together for about a minute, not to cream it or make it pale and fluffy, just to bring it together to combine. And that's about ready. So my recipe actually makes loads of cookies, so I've halved this recipe for you. Uh, depending on how many crushes you've got, you might not want to make them all. Um, but this recipe is a half batch, um, and it has half an egg in it. And the way that I did that is I measured the egg on the weighing scales, and then whisked it up a little bit so it's all combined, and then took out half. And that is what I'm left with. So I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl and just beat that together. And lastly, I'm putting in the tiniest pinch of salt, just to bring out the flavour a little bit and also some plain flour, which I've sifted already. And just mix that together for long enough that it comes together to form a dough. Right, that is ready. And as you can see, it's kind of gone very much like a biscuit dough, which is what we're making, so that's right. Um, if it does feel a little bit sticky, then don't worry, because we're going to throw some flour down on the counter and that will work its way into the cookie dough. And then just dump your dough on top. And then just bring it all together with your hands, just to make it one uniform ball. And once it's all neat and tidy and smooth, you can put a bit more flour on the worktop if you, if you need to or if you want to. And with a rolling pin, which you also need to flour, just roll that until it's about four millimetres thick. Every now and then just move your dough around the floured worktop just so it doesn't stick. Right, you'll notice that I haven't put this in the fridge to chill or anything like that. This recipe is really good because it doesn't need any chilling and it doesn't really spread that much, so it's kind of perfect for what we're doing. And I've got myself a round cookie cutter here. I'm just going to dip that in flour and chomp as many rounds out as possible. So now get rid of the excess, just gather that up because we can re-roll that in a minute. And then I'm going to transfer the cookies to a baking sheet, which I've got lined with baking paper. And I'm using a palette knife so I don't kind of squish them with my fingers. And I'm baking these at 180 degrees C for seven to nine minutes until the edges are nice and golden. Now I'm going to get these off the tin and onto a cooling rack straight away using a palette knife. Leave those to cool, it'll take about 15, 20 minutes and I'm going to get on with my filling in the meantime. For the filling, I'm making a lemony white chocolate ganache, and it's going to be whipped, so it's going to be well nice. Um, I'm starting with 100 grams of double cream. I've already melted 150 grams of white chocolate here. I did that over a bain marie, so that is ready. Um, and then I've got my cream here. I'm just going to put that on a low heat. Oh, accidentally put it on a high heat. It's OK, I'm working it out. Um, and <laughs> when that comes to the boil, it'll be ready. But in the meantime, I'm going to just zest a lemon straight into that cream. And when bubbles are starting to appear on the surface, it's time to pour it into the white chocolate. So just stir that all together. It'll look really weird and funky at this point um, and not very appetising, but that's OK because I'm going to put it in the fridge for 15 minutes and then make magic happen after that. So just hang tight and magic will happen. So my cookies are cool, and now it's time to decorate the tops of them. And I've already paired up my cookies. Sometimes cookies bake a bit different, and they come out little slightly different sizes. So I've paired them up with their best match, a lot like humans and relationships. Anyway, I'm going to be topping these with sugar paste. And I have sugar paste already coloured in four lovely pastel shades. Um, and starting with pink, I'm just going to knead that a little bit just to make it nice and smooth. And then using a non-stick rolling pin, I've got my non-stick board. I'm actually going to make this even more non-stick by putting a tiny bit of corn flour on just to, you know, stop it sticking. And I'm going to roll that out 
to be about three or four millimetres thick. And once it's nice and even, using a cookie cutter the same size as your cookies, chomp a couple of circles out. And now I need to stick my circles of sugar paste onto my cookies. And to do that, I'm just going to flip them over and just using water, you could use edible glue or even thin down apricot jam if you want, but water's okay. I'm just going to paint all over my circle to make it all sticky and gummy. And then just gently and carefully flip it over and place it right in the middle of your cookie. And then just keep doing that until you've covered all your cookies with your different colours. Now that my cookies are covered in sugar paste, it's time to put the messages on them. And love hearts have a little heart in the middle of the circle and the message goes in that. And I can freestyle a heart, but I want this to be really neat and tidy. So what I'm going to do is to grab my cookie and using a cookie cutter in the shape of a heart, just make a light impression on top of the sugar paste, which I will then draw over. So there it is, it's the perfect cheat, and now I'm going to draw around that with some royal icing. Um, I've made this royal icing in uh, slightly darker shades of pink and purple, and I've got some white as well, and I'm going to use those to mix and match. So just keep going, writing different messages to all your crushes. Now it's time to finish off the filling and it's been chilling out in the fridge for the whole time that I've been decorating the tops of my cookies. So it's gone really stiff and goopy, which doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm gonna use this whisk to whip it up so it's gonna be lovely and light. Right, it's lovely and whipped up now, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put this into a piping bag and I've got a round nozzle on the end of that. And I'm going to put a small blob onto the first cookie and then smush it down with the second cookie. So there is my first sandwich cookie. I'm just going to keep going until I've done the rest of them. How cute is that? I hope these cookies do the trick and send the message loud and clear to your loved ones. And if you're single on Valentine's Day, then just consider these a message of love to yourself. Well, happy Valentine's for next week. Don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the end. And if you want to see more of what I get up to on a daily basis, then why not like my Facebook page? And also you can follow me on Instagram. There's links to those in the description box below and I will see you next week. Bye.